Today, I'm starting a new video series on Camera 3D Toolkit Pro. My goal, to guide you step-by-step step through every feature of this plugin so you can truly unlock its full potential. These videos won't be edited in the traditional way. I'm keeping a simple educational format so you can follow along easily. We'll break this down into multiple episodes and in each one, I'll explain a specific section of the plugin. In this first video, we'll cover two essential things installing the plugin, how to create animated 3D cameras in just a few clicks. Plugin installation. After purchasing the plugin, head to the description of this video. The first link will let you download Camera 3D Toolkit Pro. Once downloaded, you'll receive a zip file named Camera 3D Toolkit Pro V2.2.1, that's the current version as I'm recording this video. If you're watching this later, the version might have changed, but the installation process remains the same. Simple steps. Right click on the zip file, decompress the file. You'll find two files inside, a PDF file, the complete user manual, a ZXP file, the plugin itself. The PDF manual is really well done. It contains answers to all your questions, all features explained in detail. I highly recommend browsing through it. Two, installing ZXP installer. To install the plugin, you'll need ZXP slash UXP installer. It's the tool that allows you to install extensions for After Effects. In the PDF manual, you'll find a direct link to the official ZXP installer website. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Download the version that matches your system. Once ZXP installer is downloaded and installed, open it. It's super simple. Just drag and drop the plugin's ZXP file directly into the ZXP installer window. Important, if you had an older version of the plugin, completely uninstall it before installing the new one. This prevents conflicts. Once installation is complete, close ZXP installer. You're all set. Third, first launch in After Effects. Open After Effects, go to the Window Extensions menu and click on Camera 3D Toolkit Pro. The first time, the plugin will ask you to enter your license key. You receive this key via email when you purchased it. Simply copy paste your license, click Verify, and that's it. You're activated. Right now, at the moment I'm recording, calling this video, if you buy the plugin, you'll get a lifetime license valid on two personal computers and you'll also enjoy 44% off. So don't wait. This is the perfect moment to grab it because in the next few days, the license and pricing policy will change and I won't be able to do anything about it. Take advantage of it while you can. Four, plugin interface. Once opened, you'll discover the interface. What I love about this plugin is that it's ultra responsive. Whether you have a small screen or a large screen, all buttons remain accessible. You can resize the window according to your needs and everything stays perfectly visible. Personally, I prefer to dock it on the side for quick access while working. You can see several sections here. Today, we're going to focus only on the first section, the one with the six main buttons. We'll cover the other sections in upcoming videos. This plugin is really powerful. There's so much to discover. Five, the six essential buttons. In this first section, you have six buttons. Quick setup, match, reset, about license. Good news, all these features are available in the free version of the plugin. If you want to test before buying, join my Telegram group, link in description, to get the free version. The advanced features we'll see later are reserved for the paid version. Practical example, I'm going to import several images into my timeline to show you concretely how all this works. I have about 11 images here, but it could be anything. Images, shape layers, text, the plugin works with all types of layers. Normally, to create a 3D camera in After Effects, you have to right click, new, camera, configure the settings, create a null object for control, parent layers to the null, switch 
switch all layers to 3D space layers on the Z axis. This takes a lot of time, every single time. That's where my plugin changes the game. The quick button, with the quick button, you don't even need to select your layers. Just click this button and boom, in a fraction of a second, all layers are switched to 3D, motion blur is activated, a 3D camera is created automatically, a control null object is generated, layers are evenly spaced on the Z axis, default 1000 pixels, it's ultra fast. What used to take you several minutes now happens in one click. The setup button. The setup button works almost like quick, but with one important difference, it doesn't space layers on the Z axis. Why is this useful? Imagine you want to create a magazine style slideshow where all your images remain aligned on the same plane, but you still want a 3D camera to create smooth animations. Practical example, select your layers, click on setup result. All layers are in 3D. The camera is created, but they stay in the same position Position on the Z axis. You can then create your camera animations very quickly. For example, a lateral movement with a bit of depth. It gives an ultra professional effect in just seconds. The match button. The match button is super practical in two situations. Situation one, you want your animation to start on a specific layer. Instead of the camera starting at the beginning of the timeline, you select the layer where you want to start and click match. The camera automatically positions itself on that layer. Situation two, you've already created a 3D scene and you want to add a new layer. The classic problem, when you switch this new layer to 3D, it completely disappears from your composition because it's not positioned correctly on the Z axis. The solution with match, select your new layer, the one that disappeared, hold control or command on Mac, select an already visible layer, click match, your layer appears instantly at the right position. You can then move it wherever you want to continue your animation. The reset button. The reset button does exactly what its name suggests. It puts everything back to zero. If you want to start from scratch, click reset, confirm, and all your layers return to their initial state. The camera and null objects are removed. It's like you never did anything. This is handy for testing different approaches without having to manually redo everything. The about button. Button. The About button gives you access to all the tutorials on my YouTube channel about the plugin. If you click on it, it directly opens my channel where you'll find tons of videos to deepen your mastery of the plugin. There are use cases, tips, complete workflows. The License button. The last button, License, allows you to manage your license, see your activations, deactivate a machine if you change computers, etc. It's simple and efficient. Conclusion. That's it for this first video. You now know how to install the plugin and use the six essential buttons of the first section. Important reminder, the plugin is currently at 44% off with a lifetime license. This is truly an exceptional offer that won't last. The download link is the first one in the description. Don't wait too long as the pricing policy will change soon. In the next video, we'll dive into the advanced features, that special section of the plugin that will really multiply your productivity. There's so much to discover. I'm doing my best to release these videos regularly. My goal is to give you all the knowledge you need to completely master this plugin. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I read everything and I respond to everyone. See you very soon in the next video.